Okay, so basically what I'm going to do, this is beautiful, man. What I'm going to do is just bring this inside, give it a nice wipe down, and uh, I'll clean it up a little. Wow, it's all in gold. Going to give it a nice cleaning. Came out perfect. It's, it's fucking gorgeous. And uh, bring it back in here, and we're going to load it up with cigars. All right, so, jar is all nice and clean. Looks great. I'm happy. And uh, we got that cracked piece, uh, which I just put a little scotch tape on the bottom. Otherwise, the two sides won't stay together, they just keep falling around, and I want to have that at the bottom, because, you know, it's just part of the freaking gig. Now, the smokes. <clears throat> I'm going to put these cigars in here, and that's a gorgeous cigar. Look at the oils in that. I mean, these are really something. Oh, they smell amazing. And, oh yeah, baby. They're going to age real well. The jar itself is, like, really oversized. Because we put this... Uh, Well, not really. Now that I see it, they they'll sit all the way in here, and what you'll see is they they come up to this lip, and then the corking is going to be over here. So. I'm going to be putting a Boveda bag, I guess, between the top sheet of cedar and the corking, and hopefully that will keep everything beautiful. These perfect, I almost feel like standing the cigars the other way, because these perfecto feet are just, you know, well, they're perfectos, and that little, that little nub at the end down there can easily get damaged and split, but these cigars are very well made. Hopefully, another one. Just, uh, I'll just remember the some of the cigars. All the cigars were perfect, but for two. One that I just put in there has a tiny little nick in the wrapper. And then there's one more that has a little bit more of a, actually a hole that I'm hoping doesn't, didn't go through the binder. But even if it did, it's high up on the cigar, so probably won't do any severe damage. Uh, I'll let you know when I see it, and you will see it too. Now these Volveda bags, I have plenty of uses for, so I'll close them up and keep them, keep them running. Ah, there it is. There's the cigar. See that? It's hard to see on the camera, but that's a hole foot of this cigar and they tried to fix it. It definitely happened. Who knows when it happened, but it's the result of just a little something punching through there. And it's not a beetle hole. For those of you who've never seen, a beetle hole is perfectly, perfectly round, like a pinhole. It's uh, actually kind of insane how perfectly round the thing is. But that's nature. It's almost like they have... And, 
to me, this is always the most beautiful part because it puts the whole, it pulls the whole jar together. You have all the cigars in there. Another thing, when, when you first put these in and you get your humidity going, be sure to give it a couple of days. You can stick a hygrometer in there of some sort and be sure to check on it. Make sure the, uh, the seal of the jar is working as it should because you don't want 25 cigars just going bad. And uh, while I strongly believe that the seal on this will be fine, we saw how tight it was. This is an old school method of sealing, by the way, using cork like that. Um, has nothing to do with expense. It's just as cheap to use a little rubber gasket that they put on the rest of the jars. But uh, cork is kind of cool, something I haven't seen in a long time. got nine more to go, because if you remember, I smoked one. Stop looking at me, woman. Jeez. <laughs> scary, man. Look at that. Beautiful. You got your type, third type, Bolivar Band, exclusive of China. Is something I say something something something. So this is working out well. Oh no! I did it again. You moron. Once again, just like the party gets jar. What did I forget, folks? Son of a bitch. Okay.